1960 for the day. And that was what, it says three trades. I'm not sure how that works. I only took two trades. That TP1 hit again. Mind you, walking them through everything. Come on, let's get TP'd up. I like this reaction, but it ain't over till it hits TP and TP is at those highs. The one, so we bought a move stops to break even. Regardless what happens. That's two reactions off the same area. Like. But it works for me, it can work for you because I'm no different. I'm just like you guys. When it comes to trying to be successful trading, it's 90% about. All right, what's going on? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. We about to see what we could do right now. It is about to be 9.30 and I am looking at this possible US 30 long at this fair value gap to target the previous day's high. That is kind of my first thoughts right now. First like kind of trade idea, just looking straight at the charts, but I got to get the VIP call all up so i'm about to join them see what we can do see if we can catch some trades it's the last day of the week see if we can end off with a bang no cap no cap us 30 indeed can be a bitch it's the drawdown god damn let's see all that volume i better see that shit to the top side too big dog shit like that give me that top side volume that's tp1 that's TP1 now. I'm moving stops to break even. Oh, stops to break even. We flying. If anybody's in the trade, break even, my dog. Break even, because that shit flying. Nah, your time is everything, bro. Your time is something you ain't never gonna get back. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it at a break even. I won't add the re entry. Worst comes to worst, I'll end up having a better entry because it'll stop me at break even anyway. Second attempt on this trade, one break even for the day. And we'll see what this one ends up playing out. It's the same trade. But we'll just see. First one wanted to stop me break even, but we still didn't run that high, so it still has to target from beforehand. At least the first one was break even, because if this is out, it'll just be one. It'll just be one out. And that's cool. Ten o'clock. You just cooked. All right, come on. Give me that TP. You ain't give it to me the first time, but I got faith in you. It's ten o'clock now. Come on, let's get TP though. I like this reaction. But it ain't over till it hits TP, and TP is at those highs. The one, so we about to move stops to break even. Now it's just two break evens for the day. That's a W, regardless what happens. That's two reactions off the same area. Like I be telling y'all, we about $200 away from TP. I got my button. I got it hovering over the close button. Look, I have it hovering just like this. Oh, there we about to get TP. It's about to hit. Come on. There we go. All right, closed it right there. Oh, might have closed that a little bit less, but fuck it. That's closed right there. Got the TP. Good little trade. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty. It was pretty trendy, I would say, for at least thirty. All right, and just like that, we done. Done with the trading day. We took the two trades. One trade was break even. The one trade was a W. They were both the same trade idea. It's just one got stopped at break even after it gave me TP one, and then the second trade, it actually hit TP two, and it's still playing right now. This was a great trade and everybody in VIP was able to see me catch it live, see me manage it live and all the risk management and everything. He came in late, but it's all good. We, so far, not bad so far. For when it comes to VIP sales, something, but today we are at $0. Amazing, amazing, but it's only 10.30. We already up for the day when it comes to the trading account. Come over here and look at the actual top stop. If you look at it over here, 1960. For the day and that was what it says three trades i'm not sure how that works i only took two trades i honestly don't know how the partial positions and everything work but it was two trades one break even one w and as you can see the average trade time was about 17 minutes so it was a smooth day smooth day can't lie it was supposed to be a 2k day but you know i'll take it it is what it is and just so you know there's no cap in the app look at this this is the trade as i took it in drawdown everything if we look at the time what time did i send this I sent that at 10.03. I don't know why that's a sad face. And that was when I said trade attempt number two. So this is already the fact that I told them the first trade was a break even. We go down, we got TP1 hit again. Mind you, walking them through everything. This is what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. For the people that aren't there live, they can still watch it right there. And then we have when I actually hit the full TP. Come on now. Come on now. And then it kept going. But enough with the charts, on what it I?
All right, we back, we back. I just ate some food, just kind of just wrapping up my day overall. Made some money, we made about $1,900 when it comes to trading. We had that one break even trade, the one W. W day, I ain't gonna lie, it's been a great week. After coming back from vacation, having all these problems with my life, having all these things I gotta pay for, all these little minor obstacles, having a little losing streak, I'm getting that money back, I'm getting that streak back. We back into a positive mindset. But I wanna be honest with you guys. I didn't really know what I was gonna to record today. I didn't know if I even wanted to post a video today because the only thing when it comes to content that I have that I feel like you guys would wanna watch is just a trade, but that's such a small video. It's just, it's not enough. And one of the things that gets to me, and this is kind of me giving advice to myself, but this is also for you guys. The main reason I have this channel to begin with is not to try to sell you guys stuff, is to be able to show you guys the journey, show you my life, what I'm going through, how I'm overcoming it, because if I can do it, so can you. Anything I do, you can do too. I promise you that I'm no different than you. I'm not anything crazy, I don't know anything. One thing I was just talking about on my Instagram story is, Everybody always thinks, oh, what's the secret? What do you know that I don't know that's making you successful? It's not what I know, it's what I'm doing. What am I doing that you're not doing? If you wanna have the results people don't have, you gotta do what they're not willing to do. And one of those good examples I would say is today. I didn't know if I was gonna post a video because I had that feeling, I'm like, I don't know what to post. I don't wanna post some bullshit. I don't really, I'm not doing anything entertaining today because one of the main things I struggle with as being a content creator and entrepreneur is I don't have a entertaining life every single day. Not every day I'm, is glamorous. A lot of the times I'm just home on my computer, recording stuff, active with the VIP, just doing things that are gonna better me in the gym. These aren't very fun things to watch. I just kind of make them entertaining, but I remembered. This is also advice for you guys. It doesn't necessarily matter what the video is on. It matters what's in the video. What is the topic of the video? What is the value in the video? I can sit right here every single day, every single video, but I can give you different information every day. I can teach you something different every day. That is what this is for. So I just had to kind of get out of my own way. I had to understand that most people feel that way that I felt, but it's about what am I gonna do? Am I still gonna post a YouTube video? Am I gonna give up? Am I gonna say no, I don't want to? I have to do what I want. I have to do what I got to do, regardless how I feel, and that's something I go through. I'm not. I don't live a crazy, glamorous life, but I'm showing you guys what the real is. You want to be able to make money. You want to be able to work for yourself. You want to be self-employed. It comes with things such as that. Being able to force yourself to work. Being able to do the things that may not necessarily make you a lot of money. Like keep in mind, I'm not. You know, I don't make a lot of money from these YouTube videos. Last month off of ads when it comes to YouTube, it was my biggest month when it comes to making money on YouTube, but it was only $1,100. That was just for the month. It's not a lot of money when it comes to how much time I'm putting into it, how many videos I'm posting. Keep in mind, you guys see a video every day, every other day. Something new every day, every other day. Something edited completely new every day, every other day. It's a lot of content, it's a lot of time. That's the main thing. I don't put a lot of money into YouTube, but I take, it takes a lot of time out of my day. So one of the main things that's stressful is putting a whole bunch of time into something that isn't gonna necessarily make me the money now, but I gotta understand it's deeper than the money. There's purpose behind it. There's a reason I'm posting the videos. And what's that reason? It all comes down to why I do everything. Why do I trade? Because I wanna be a self-employed entrepreneur. I don't wanna work for nobody else. I wanna be able to have my own money be self-dependent. And how do I do that? I gotta change my life so that I can teach other people how to change their life. Simple as that, that's the equation that I have for myself. It may not be necessarily what you need to do, what you're going to do, but that's what I do, and that's what I know is going to work for me. And that's all that really matters, because if it works for me, it can work for you because I'm no different. I'm just like you guys. While I'm here, actually, I'm about to send a message to somebody in VIP. He basically said he's Brazilian, he, his dream is to make a living from the financial market. What advice do I have to help him? It's very difficult to find. It's very difficult to know about this market, especially in his country. Almost no one talks about this market in my language. So I'm gonna give him a nice little voice memo so you guys can kind of watch and listen. When it comes to trying to be successful trading, it's 90% about your mindset and having proper risk management. Your system and strategy is important and is required to be high probability, but it's not going to make you successful. Focus on the process, don't focus on the money. You wanna be able to stay in the game long-term and the only way you're able to do that is understanding proper risk management, having great emotional control and a probability mindset. You can learn the system and strategy just from having experience over time. As long as you 
don't give up. You can never fail. With experience is going to come wisdom. Yeah, send it below. Message right over there. Be here, but before we end off this video, I'm going to show you guys the results for the week. It was a pretty good week. This is my first winning week in a little bit. We made a little bit of money. Caught some trades this week, and everything trade-wise was all caught in VIP. Everything was done VIP live. You guys seen it in the video, so everything's recorded. I don't even gotta, I don't even gotta promote it. You you seen this shit is not trying to load. I don't know what's going on with the trade of eight app, but this shit is being mad slow. It's not even loading an account. Just... All right, I genuinely don't know why it's not loading. I restarted my phone, restarted everything. It's just not loading, so I'm just gonna put in tomorrow's video. Sorry for the cliffhanger. I was gonna show exactly how much I made this week and today. But it's not loading here. Just for the context, I had the screenshot from how much I made earlier and everything. Like you can see right here, this is the screenshot of the 13. Well, not the 13, the 19. And then you have over here how much I made the 1900 over there. Today was a good day. I was a good week, but I'll be able to show you guys the results and everything tomorrow. Hopefully, that shit updates. I don't know why it's all delayed. Not sure, but I genuinely don't really care right now, if I'm being honest. I'm not taking a withdrawal right now, so it's not really... How much I made this week doesn't really matter to me. It was just going to be something to show you guys. Maybe put in the title or something, but it is what it is. But with that being said, if you guys want to learn what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, how I trade, the concepts, my reasons to get in and out of trades, check out the free trading course. Check out the free trading webinars. They're going to teach you a whole lot for completely free. And once you're actually ready to join a community of like my individuals where you can get experience, take my trades, learn from my trade ideas, learn from other people's trade ideas, because it's not just me in the community. There's other traders, there's other people that are on the same exact mission. So make sure you join the team. And once you're actually ready to start depositing money and make money just like me, just like everybody on the team, use Hango Trade. And what, even if you're not going to deposit real money yet, use the demo account. Practice makes improvement. 1% a day adds up. So with that being said, stay safe, stay productive, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.